Hi there, this is Anna Prosser for Kingston HyperX here at MLG Orlando 2011 with Bryce Bates. Machine, how's your day going so far? Uh, it's going all right. You know, I, I won my first match against Slush 2-0, and I just finished losing to Hong in 0-2, so could have been a little better, but, uh, you know, I'm still fighting for it, so we'll see. What kind of preparation have you had for this event that's bringing you good results and maybe that's bringing you bad results? Well, uh, right before this event, obviously, we had IPL. And so a lot of my preparation came in the weeks before IPL. And obviously, the, the last, uh, we had two days at the house between IPL and MLG, where I mainly practiced uh, Zerg vs. Terran, because it seems to be my weakest matchup at the moment. But I'd say 99% of my practice came you know, from the 8 to 12 hours a day I was playing a few weeks right before IPL. Well, you are, if I understand correctly, you've been climbing the MLG ranks pretty steadily, right? Can you give us kind of a brief history of your MLG results? Well, obviously, uh, I guess my high point would start at uh, last year's finals where I took sixth. Uh, beyond that, I had a few poor showings at around 20th, and then I took 21st one time. Uh, and last time I took 18th. And, you know, hopefully this time uh, I'll take at least top 16, hopefully, you know, top eight. I know you've told me that you've been feeling pretty strong lately. Do you feel like those results from the EG Lair practice house is going to definitely make a showing here at this MLG? Or is it still too soon to see really what fully can come out of that house? Um, well, obviously, as long as we stay in the house, we're just going to keep getting better and better. But I do believe I'm, you know, steadily climbing the ranks, doing better and better at each every uh, MLG. And I do expect to do much better than 18th uh, at this event. But just how high I climb, we'll just have to see. What do you think race has to do with your results at this point? There's been a lot of talk about, you know, a, a really severe Protoss imbalance. Do you buy into that theory? Um, I think Protoss is a bit weak at the moment, uh, you know, it, particularly Protoss versus Terran. Uh, with the new patch, Protoss versus Zerg got a lot uh, easier, you know, it still might be considered a weak for Protoss, but uh, uh, as far as like matchups that I care about in general as a Zerg player, Zerg versus Zerg's always been my strongest, Zerg versus Protoss like my middle matchup, and you know, I've lost, I've been knocked out of my past four major events by Terran, so obviously something I need to work on. Well, how do you think the rest of your team is going to show up in this tournament? You have, you know, Greg, who's performed really well at IEM China recently. You have really strong players. Um, Huck just beat MC, if I heard that correctly. So do you think we're going to see a really strong EG showing in the top? Oh, yeah. I'd say top eight, um, realistically, at least Huck, Idra, and Puma. You know, they're... You know, Idra obviously coming back from China, doing very well, uh, performing the best on the team at IPL as well. Puma, you know, never one to be taken lightly, and and Huck here already taking out some major names, so uh, I expect uh, a lot from them. I also was curious. I've heard you coaching a lot recently, and I think you're just a fantastic coach. Can you tell us a little bit about the, the other side of being a pro gamer? You guys stream, you coach, you work together. What are some of the other things that make you strong or that you have to offer? Well, I guess uh, right now, mainly a lot of things that I have that make me strong is just being able to converse with my team. This, this house has done wonders, being able to see different perspectives of situations that you know you normally just can't think your way through sometimes. Um, but as far as all the other things go on, you know, most of, uh, you know, everything uh, that we do is, is mainly just practice. You, you show up to these tournaments and knowing about how you should be placing, just based upon the amount of hours you practice, who you're practicing against, you know, how you're playing in general. And, you know, as, as far as coaching goes and streaming, we need to make a living too. So just by, you know, it, a lot of coaching helps as well because you start reiterating those same sort of terms, you know, saying, well, you always have to scout this at this time. You always have to scout this at this time. And, you know, it's something that starts, sort of just starts getting built into your mindset and helping you become a better player. So if fans wanted to maybe observe your play, learn from you, maybe even get some coaching, where would be the best place to find you? Uh, well, as far as uh, coaching, I've been coaching at Ghost of Coaching, uh, you know, since the beginning, www.ghostofcoaching.com. And uh, you can also watch my stream for some inside commentary at twitch.tv slash machineusa. 
Great. Well, thank you so much, Bryce. Is there any shout outs you want to give before you sign off? Uh, I'd like to shout out to all my sponsors, Intel, uh, Kingston, HyperX, obviously, um, Monster Energy Drinks, Six Pool Gaming, InWin, uh, and Bigfoot Network Cards, and I think, and all my sponsors. <laughs> Well, I personally would like to thank Kingston HyperX for bringing me here to MLG Orlando 2011. Thanks a lot for taking time out of your schedule to talk to us, Bryce, and best of luck in the tournament. Thank you very much.